Hello everyone, welcome to Solving Solution, where you get solutions to all your solving problems. Thanks for coming to our channel today. I am very, very sure you will make the best out of it. So we are going to understand how to measure your error. Yes, I mean your misclosure, your angular misclosure in traversing. So on our previous video, we were able to compute up to this point. We started our what our fourth computation and we got up to this point. Now that is the fourth, the last fourth bearing to the control here. Now we want to see if this bearing we the bearing we have here tallies to an appreciable amount of maybe allowable error. Let's just forget about the grammar. If it is within the allowable error that is okay for this particular traverse. Now, this KG21 to KG22 is an established line. The line is this line here, KG21 to what? To KG22. And since this is a control, whatever value we have for it, we know that it's corrected. So it is this value we want to use to compare to the value we have from our traversing to know how well we carried out the traverse. So if this is from KG21 to KG22, and this is also from KG21 to KG22, that means the bearing we are looking for the corrected bearing we are supposed to have for this line is this bearing here. And the bearing is what is 30 degrees, 35 minutes, 49.9 seconds. This is the bearing we are supposed to get from what? From KG22, from KG21, sorry, to what? To KG22. The reason why we wrote it down directly is because the line we are having is what KG21 to KG22. And the line we also have here is what KG21 to KG22. So there is no need for us to say add 180 or subtract 180. That would have been possible if maybe the closing control was from KG22 to KG21. If it were from KG22 to KG21, you know that 21 to 22 is the forward. That means 22 to 21 will be the backward. Therefore, you add 180 to this. But that's not the case here. So let's not encumber ourselves with that. Basically, I just use that to give an explanation because you might not always meet this scenario on site. Now, let's go. Let's continue with the correction to the bearing. So we want to determine what our error is. Now we are supposed to have 30, 35, 49.9, but we got 30, 35, 37.9. So what do we do? We find the difference. We are supposed to have 30, 35, 49.9, but we got 30, 35, 37.9. So we have a difference of what 12 seconds. We have a difference of 12 seconds. And now that 12 seconds, will it be positive or negative? This is the way I used to explain to my colleagues when I was in school so that nobody gets confused. I will just tell them, take your calculator, subtract the small one from the big one. That's the first thing you are going to do. You know that one, you will not have any negative answer. 2 minus 1 is always 1. It's only when you do 1 minus 2, you have minus 1. So the first thing I will ask them to do is do what? Is to subtract the small one from the big one. So in this case, we did just that and we got a positive 12 seconds, which is this. So we now saw that we subtracted this from this. So if you now look at this, we are having 37.9, but we need 49.9. So what do we do to 37.9? We are going to add 12 to it. Just like you need 3, but you have 1. What do you do to that 1? You add 2 to it. So the error here will be what? Will be plus 12 seconds. But if in a case whereby we needed 37.9 and 37.9 was here, 
and we got 49.9 49.9 was there i will still advise you subtract the small one from the big one get your positive answer then come to this point to analyze it we got something like this and we need this are we going to add to this or we are going to subtract from this the reason why i'm giving this explanation is that i have met so many of my colleagues who used to miss the, the sign at this point the values might be correct but they will just mix up the sign so to avoid that ambiguity as i'm passing out my information to you guys i'm trying to give it to you in a way that i believe is the simplest way so what did i say subtract the small one from the big one you have a positive answer just leave the positive answer there now come and compare you need something like this and you got this so what will you do to this you got to get what you need will you add will you subtract at that point you know it just takes a fraction of seconds for you to do that but for the sake of explanation i'm trying to break it down for us to get i believe that is very simple now we have 12 seconds as our error is this 12 seconds within the allowable limit how do we know that this 12 seconds is within the allowable limit so we now come to this point there is a formula we use 30 seconds root n now it's it cannot always be 30 the reason why we are using 30 is because 30 seconds is the least count of the instrument used what do we mean by least count least count is the smallest value the optical instrument can measure without approximation so the least count of the instrument used to carry out this traversing was a 30 seconds instrument therefore we are going to say 30 seconds root n this formula is used to compute for the word for the reliable angular misclosure so the n is the total number of station now we'll come back to our computation sheet what's the total number of station we have one two three four five six so it will now be written as what 30 seconds root six so we come back to our calculator to compute for the allowable error what is the allowable error we are supposed to have on this traverse we come we say zero degrees zero minute 30 seconds times what times root six so the allowable error we are supposed to have for this particular traverse is zero degrees one minute 13.48 seconds this is the allowable error any error beyond this any error greater than this means we need to go back and make our observations again on site any error more than zero degrees one minute 13.48 seconds means our traversing is in error so what we got here was just 12 seconds which means our traversing is what the accuracy of our traversing is okay we can continue we can do what we can continue so now how do we continue we are going to distribute this 12 seconds error along all the traverse stations we are going to distribute this word this 12 seconds error along the traverse station so how do we do we divide this 12 by the total number of stations and we multiply it by the consecutive station number so what do i mean by that we have an error of what we have an error of 12 seconds and the total number of stations we have is what is six so we divide it by six and when i say multiplying it by the consecutive station number it will be what times one times two times three until we get to what times six this is what i mean by the consecutive station number so let us now put it into practice let us put it into practice these things are very simple and i believe you're following it up to this point so we still come back to our calculator we have zero degrees zero minute 12 seconds divided by six which will give us two seconds so now these two seconds we are just going to save it on our calculator to a particular alphabet or a constant so let's say we saved it on a constant a so we have two seconds there so remember i told us that we are going to be multiplying it by the consecutive station number so for station one it will be times one which will be two seconds so the correction that will be on station one will be what will be two seconds we come to station two we edit one we press two we have four 
we come to station two we have four seconds we come to station three we edit we press three which is six we have six seconds when we get to station four we edit we write four there we have eight seconds when we come to station five we do the same thing we have what we have 10 seconds i hope this was very very clear for us to understand this is how you distribute the error along the station what did we do we divided the total error which is 12 seconds by the total number of station which is six and we use that quotient to multiply each of the consecutive or let's say each station number and since we have six stations that means we multiplied it by one by two by three until we go to six remember it's still the same 12 seconds divided by six which was what which was two seconds so it was like two seconds multiplied by one two seconds multiplied by two two seconds multiplied by three until we got to two seconds multiplied by six so what we did here was that we stored the two seconds as an alphabet a that was why we were just editing the multiplier and changing it so by the time we put six we have 12 and that 12 is the highest error we have the error we have for the last station i really hope this explanation was detailed enough for us not to have any form of ambiguity now how do we get the corrected bearing the corrected bearing will now be this is your correction plus the fourth bearing on each of those station the correction plus the fourth bearing of each of the station the correction plus the fourth bearing of each of the station that will give you the corrected bearing so on our next video we are going to calculate for the corrected bearing we will write our horizontal distances we have corrected for slope and other corrections then we'll compute for our what our partial coordinate which is what the delta nothing and the delta is thing. then we'll progress to the last part thank you very much for being a part of this program thank you very much for listening to me i'm really glad sharing my experiences my knowledge with you guys i really hope it's helping you giving you solution because that's the idea behind everything i really hope it's preferring the solution it's intended to prefer and i would really like to hear from you guys drop your questions on the comment section if you have any question we'll get back to you as soon as we can so invite your friends to come and subscribe don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and comment share invite your friends i can't just say this enough thank you very much for coming to watch my video see you in the next video take care